We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Ought to be a good one here between the Cleveland Indians and the Boston Red Sox. Coming to the plate now, Jose Ramirez. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. The three and one pitch. And he lays off ball four, and the leadoff man is on to begin the ball game. So striding forward now, Cesar Hernandez. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. And that's in there, base hit. Batting third, the shortstop, Francisco Lindor. To the plate now, Francisco Lindor. All even now, two and two. Ramirez at second, Hernandez at first with no outs. And he got him. And that'll bring in Fran Reyes. And it's been a good start to the current campaign with the average up over 300 so far. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Verdugo waits on it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Two men on. Two out, and that'll bring in one of the best on base percentage players in the game, Carlos Santana. One and one. Here it is. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. That's lifted the other way out to left. Left fielder is on the move. He's not going to get to it, so the leadoff guy's aboard with a base hit. The second base hit. Stepping in now, Dustin Pedroia. Offered at and missed. Here's the throw. Ball's there, and he is out. Good throw. Bases are empty. One man out. Into center field. Line drive base hit. Batting third. The designated hitter. At the plate, J.D. Martinez. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Three and one to Martinez. This is where you cash your checks right here. Three one. You're one of the best hitters in the game. You live for situations like this. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. First and second now, one man out. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. So it's first and second with two men gone. And that brings up the third baseman, Rafael Devers. Here's the 1-1. One -one. It has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. The 2-1 pitch. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. The 3-1 and one pitch. There's ball four. There's the first baseman now, Mitch Moreland. The first baseman, Mitch. Here's the 2 1. Strike taken up in the zone. Definitely a big pitch coming up right here. He's going to be pumped if he can work his way out of this inning with the game still tied. Hit sharply toward the right side. And this is hauled in on the run as he takes quite a tumble but hangs on, and the inning is over.
second inning set to go. Digging in, Oscar Mercado. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. And that misses two and two. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. So one away here with the bases empty. And that'll bring Domingo Santana into the batter's box next. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here. Three and one. Just behind the fastball there. Two strikes now. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one. So, so now we've got a battle on our hands. And he fouls this one off. The next three, two. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. Coming to the plate now, Jordan Luplo. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Skied into straightaway right. Verdugo waits on it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Now to the plate, Roberto Perez, hoping to stay hot. He had a couple of hits, including a home run yesterday. The 1-1 home. Popped him up. Devers has room in foul territory. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. And the next up will be Alex Verdugo. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. The 2 1. He swung on and missed for strike number two. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Standing in, Christian Vasquez. Back on Wednesday, it was a one for five performance for him. Bottom of the second here with no score. On the ground for Hernandez at second base. Right to him. And there's out number two. Here's Jackie Bradley now. Three hits for him in that ball game on Wednesday. The one two. Is taken for ball two. Two out nobody on. Bouncer to the left side. But the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. The throw into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Into the box, Jose Ramirez. Three and two now. Well, the one-two pitch didn't go his way, and now a miss there on two and two. You know he doesn't want this and that to get away from him, so I think we're going to see a challenge pitch on a full count. He throws him on the fastball there. Jose Ramirez becomes the first out of the inning. Now an off-speed pitch gets the outside. It's a cold strike. And a full count as that misses. It's three and two now. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. And that'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Here's the 2-1. That's a classic piece of pitching right there. You have to back hitters away from the plate to make them a little bit uncomfortable. Now you can go inside or outside. I like that purpose pitch. Looking to punch him out again. Pitch lifted in the air to center field. Bradley is there. Two down. So stepping in, Fran Reyes. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. 
Verdugo's got it, and with it, the inning is over. Back to the top of the order now, and up next, the exciting left-handed bat of Andrew Benintendi. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Count even at two and two. And the pitch. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. One gone here in the Boston third. And that'll bring up the former MVP second baseman Dustin Pedroia. Skied into very shallow right. Luplo in a few steps as he takes it. Two down. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez. He drew a base on balls his first time up. The 1-1. A swing by Martinez, and this is driven to left. A ball that's carrying. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. So now Carlos Santana, he's 0 for 1 thus far. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get them in, but that hasn't been the case. Bradley has a beat on this one. One down. Digging in to try it again. Oscar Mercado comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Popped up. And this will be taken by Pedroia for route number two. In now for Cleveland, Domingo Santana reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Got him swinging and that will end the inning. Striding in once again, Xander Bogarts looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue or does somebody score here? I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off-speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low-scoring affairs. Luplo has to come in a few steps, but he has it for route number one. Now at now the plate, Rafael Devers. He drew a walk his first time up. Outside, two and one. Rounded to the right. Gloved by Santana. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Now at the plate, Mitch Moreland hit it hard but lined out in his first at-bat. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. Santana is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. So digging in now, Jordan Luplo. He'll start off the fifth in this one. The 1-1 one, one home. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Lays off the 1-2 changeup, and he's worked it back to 2-2. Two two. 
swing and a miss, and he'll start the fifth the same way he ended the fourth with a punch out, one away. Digging in, Roberto Perez, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Line drive to center field. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. Number nine batter comes through that time as it'll now be up to the top of the order with one away. In now, Jose Ramirez. And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. Digging in the switch hitter, Cesar Hernandez. It was a walk in his last trip. Hit on the ground out to short. Bogarts has it. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Now at the plate, Alex Verdugo. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. But this will be speared at third, and that was self-defense all the way. One gone. Now the one-and-one one pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. Right fielder giving chase. But this will land untouched. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Yank the slider across that time. Laid off for a ball. Still two and two. And another foul ball. The two two one more time. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. You know, taking you inside the mind of a batter right here, you can't get in auto swing mode. You still have to control the strike zone. Again, another foul ball. No runs, three hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Hit the other way out toward right field. Luplo is there, two down. So now bases back. are empty here with no two gone. Field. And in to hit next, Jackie. it'll be the left-handed batter, Bradley. Jackie Bradley Jr. Junior. And now a curveball that's one, low yeah. and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Santana will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Ball set for the start of the inning. So here's Francisco Lindor now. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Maddie, he checks every box. Charisma, smile, hits from both sides of the plate with pop, defense, you name it. GM's dream right here. Two balls and two strikes to count to Francisco Lindor. Breaking ball well inside and taken for ball three. Well, that sets up a big pitch right here, Matt, because you don't want to lose the leadoff guy in a scoreless game. It's tough to work around the leadoff walk. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And here's Fran Reyes stepping in. No runs, two hits, no errors to this point for the Indians. And he's back in standing. And this ball's pretty well struck. High and deep to left field. A leap, but it's off his glove. Not quite out of here. It's off the out-of-town scoreboard. The first baseman, Carlos Santana. At the plate now, Carlos Santana had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Fouled off.
high and deep to left center field. Ben Intendi heads back on it. On the warning track, he makes the catch. The relay throw, and a daring move there pays off as he'll make it into third on the fly ball to left. Stepping into the box, Oscar Mercado, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Popped him up. Vasquez moving to his left. He's got it, and there are two down now. Riding in, Domingo Santana. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. The set and the 1-1. One -one. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's 2-1. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. I think for every player, for every former player, that swing right there is the reason we need to extend the netting without question. Want the fans to be safe. Vasquez is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Well, he's having a good amount of success here, Dan, even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah, but for him, Matt, he's more of a pitch-to-contact kind of guy, and obviously it's working so far, and the way he pitches, it really keeps his pitch count down. Now the one-and-one one pitch is laid off for ball two. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. Lindor waits on it, and that's the first down of the inning. So a runner at first now with one away, and that'll bring up the dangerous bat of J.D. Martinez. Has a look, now the pitch. Well off the plate with the change of pace, that's ball two. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. And he misses again, ball three. The three and one pitch is in there for a full count now three and two. I think it's a real possibility that they put that run on first in motion. That would help them stay out of that double play that would end the inning. But that's also kind of risky at the same time. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. There's a shin high slider laid off for a ball. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Here now is Rafael Devers. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll two. The 3-1. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Now the payoff pitch home. A swing and he pops him up on the infield. And the infield fly rule will be in effect here. And now a crucial spot. Base is loaded. Two men gone. And that'll bring up a former gold glover, the first baseman, Mitch Moreland. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Here's the two and two. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. High fly ball out to straightaway center. 
Mercado is there as he makes the catch and they'll tight rope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded. Standing in Jordan Luplo and he'll step in to start things out against Chris Sale. Not sure if this is a powerhouse pitching performance by both teams or bad hitting but as we're moving late into this one it's about time somebody put something together to try to score a run. Hey, it's tough when your team is being held scoreless on the scoreboard. He was trying to put him on the board with a swing like that one. So he punches him out looking at the fastball. Jordan Luplo was down for the first out in the seventh inning. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. One two pitches a bit high and he's back to even at two and two. And they're working the outer half here but that one's wide for ball three. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. So he sets him down swinging. Roberto Perez is the second out in the seventh inning. From the windup the one one pitch. A little bit outside two and one. Fouled away. The 2 2. Bases are empty here with two men out. And it's fouled away. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. There is Pedroia on to first, and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is over. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Digging in once again, Alex Verdugo. A strikeout and a lineout for him so far. Grounded to short. Oh, look at the sliding stop. Hey, now. One man is out in the Red Sox seventh. And from the on deck circle into the batter's box comes Christian Vasquez. Just off the inside part of the plate, it's three and one. Lays off ball four. Now the potential go ahead run is on base here. Ready now, Jackie Bradley Jr. He's one for two in the ball game. Three balls and a strike now to Bradley. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. And now the count is full for the Boston center fielder. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And no one will track it down. Possible go ahead runs on first, one away. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Sent on the ground out to second. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. And with that, the go ahead runs up to second now with only one away. Adam Simber is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. To the plate now, Andrew Benintendi. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. One two. <laughs> Runners are at first and second with one away. And he takes a look at strike three called, and that's as important as they come there. Two big the outs now. 15, second baseman, into center field and that's going to get down for a base hit. Vasquez ignores his coach. He's chugging for home. The tag and he's safe. They've taken the lead. 
the bat. The designated hitter. JD. Into the box now. J.D. Martinez. Swing and a miss on the sinker, and it's one and two. And he got him. Minimizing the damage at just a run. The inning is over. Leading off the inning, Cesar Hernandez. And they'll need him to get something going here. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. And this is going to find the gap and roll toward the bullpen for extra bases. And he'll get in at second base as the tying runs aboard with a leadoff double. Up next to Cleveland, the so now to the plate, Francisco Lindor. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. Hit the other way out toward right field. Chasing after it is Verdugo. He makes the catch, and tagging is the runner from second. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. So striding in, Fran Moraes, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Outside, two and one. One out and a runner on third. And it's two balls and two strikes now. The offensive approach here is simple. You know the pitcher's going for the K, so set your sights middle of the plate. And then don't worry about the infielders. They're so close, hard contact is a guaranteed win. And that will get down as he delivers a big one here. It's a base hit. And the runner from third crosses the plate. Ryan Brazier gets the call as he'll pitch with one gone in the top of the eighth. Now time is called, and we'll have a pinch runner at first. And that'll be a wise decision as he's the potential go-ahead run. Stepping in now, Carlos Santana. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. Brazier is at least partially known for his big power slider. A lot of break on that pitch, but what makes it unique is how well the play's been made, and that retires the side. Oliver Perez will come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Xander Bogarts. 0 for 2 for him to this point. A shot to second base and handled for the first out. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Rafael Devers. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. A 1 1. Waves and misses for strike number two. Perez is adjusting to the new normal as MLB now mandates that relievers reach the end of an inning or face three or more batters before being replaced. For a one-time lefty specialist like this, that's a big change. Santana is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Ready for another now shot now. Mitch Double Moreland. Matchup numbers with Oliver Perez. He's just oh, one man. for six. Gets the sign. The two and one. No, that's down. off ball four now the potential go ahead run is on base here now time is called and we'll have a pinch runner at first and that'll be a wise decision as he's the potential go ahead run so it's a runner at first with two men out and that brings up the outfielder Alex Verdugo he set the 2-2 two -two. hopped up Lindor settles under it near second and that retires the side. I'll 
is set to start the ninth in this one. Stepping in, Oscar Mercado. We could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Swing and a line drive. And this will make its way into center field for a base hit, and the leadoff man's aboard now to open the ninth. Throw won't get him. Domingo. At the plate, Domingo Santana. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Protecting with two strikes, one out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. 2-2 two -two pitch is fouled away. Ready with another two-strike offering. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Tyler Naquin will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Fastball misses upstairs as that moves things to three and one now. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Now the three and two pitch. Hit on the ground to third. Devers has it. And that's the second out. Stepping up now, Roberto Perez. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with two down. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. And he strikes him out on a so one run can win it as we head to the bottom of the inning. Riding into the box, Christian Vasquez. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. There's a line drive, and he's swinging it as good as anyone, folks. The streak will continue. He's got a base hit. Jose Peraza come on to pinch it now with a runner at first and nobody out. Possible winning run aboard here. Nobody out. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Hernandez is under it as he puts it away for round number one. So the Red Sox lineup turns over and to the plate, Andrew Benintendi has got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. The one and one pitch. Waiting next is Dustin Pedroia. Fouls this one off. Now the three and two pitch. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Dominic Leone takes the ball, needing to get the final out of the ninth to send this one to extra innings. Dustin Pedroia will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. The set and the 2-2. Two -two. Ball three. Three and two now. And that misses ball four. So now the potential winning run moves into scoring position where a single could end this thing. Late that time for a strike. shot to third. Ramirez is up with it. The easy way to Hernandez to retire the side.
Lee Hembry takes the mound as he'll be the first man to pitch here in extra innings. Number 37. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Jose Ramirez. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. I mean, what a diamond in the rough Jose Ramirez has been for Terry Francona and the Cleveland Indians. This guy burst on the scene in 2016. Just absolutely set that lineup on fire. They were looking for a guy to bail out Michael Brantley and the production they would miss from him in the lineup. And Jose Ramirez filled that admirably. Ripped down the line. But a foul ball, and it's full now at three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Playable for Verdugo, and there's one gone. Stepping in, Cesar Hernandez. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. Set to deal on two and two. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this will be a foul ball. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. The 2 2 one more time. Big swing, but a little dribbler here to the right side of the mound. Throw too late to get him at first. Not a thing of beauty, but it's an infield single nonetheless. In now, Francisco Lindor fouled off. Possible go ahead runs on first, one away. Misses ball two. Fouled away. Ready with another two strike offering. And that misses, so it's a full count three and two. This is on the ground over to first. But that finds its way through for a base hit. The throw to third. And he is in there at third as the possible go-ahead score. Now back. And here's the second generation big leaguer Delino De Shields. And clearly this is a critical moment in this ball game. Go-ahead run at third with one away. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. Big pitch coming up right here. He'd love for a ground ball or a strikeout. This one's blooped out toward right center field. And that will fall as he comes through. It's a base hit. Trotting in to score is the runner from third, and they've taken the lead with a run here in the 10th. Now that the first base. Carlo. To the plate now, Carlos Santana. Two and two. in the air out to center field. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And the run is in to score from third. It's now three to one. Darwin's and Hernandez takes over here with the runner at first and two gone in the inning. Oscar Mercado. Oscar Mercado will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with the runner at first and two away. This is line to left. Oh, and he can't come up with it. The throw is wild, and it gets away. The left field, number 24, Domingo Santana. At the plate now, Domingo Santana. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. Will this be a big out out of the bullpen? Pedroia will put this one away, and the side is retired. Brad Hand takes the ball looking to make sure this game goes no further. Save situation here in inning number 10. Ready for the bottom of the 10th here. So here's the Boston cleanup hitter, Xander Bogarts. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. The 1-1 home. 
Taken strike two. Hand has tossed more than 500 innings at the big league level and posts a respectable ERA in the high threes. To two balls and two strikes now. Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. Now One away. The third base batting. Now batting, oh, Rafael Devers. It was Devers. a flyout for him in his last trip. A ball and two strikes ball, now. Two strikes. Still one and two as he fouls it away. The pitch. And think about it. In game one of this series, they've already had to go deep into their bullpen. This could affect them for the rest of the weekend if they don't get really good starting pitching. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Into the box, Michael Chavis. He's ready for his first at bat of his early season contest. Last strike now for the Red Sox. Good eye to lay off the slider there, and he works it to full three and two here. Alex Verdugo would be next. Skied into straightaway right. Nick wins under it. Makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Hey, it took them an extra frame to do it, but hey, they're not going to complain as they lock up a nice road victory here in 10 innings. Tonight's ball game comes to a close, three to one, the final. Dominic Leone gets the win in relief, his second of the year. Brad Hand hammers down the save, his third of the campaign. So that's a wrap here tonight for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney. This is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter at MLB The Show. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Cleveland Indians. Three runs on nine hits. No errors. They left 11 men on base. For the Red Sox, one run on six hits, two errors, they left 11 men on base. The winning pitcher is Dominic Leone. His record is now 2 and 0. Oh. The loss goes to Heath Embry. He falls to 1 and 2. Time of the ball game, 3 hours and 40 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at Fenway Park, 37,755. We'd like to thank the Red Sox Nation for their continuing support and remind you to please drive home safely. Good night.